But we begin tonight with exclusive new information on a tragic crash in Attleboro last night that police are now calling a deadly hit and run. As we first reported at noon, a Plainville woman is now charged with hitting a man with her car and leaving him for dead. And new tonight, we spoke exclusively with the sister of the victim, David Napini, and she tells us it's not the only time he was involved in a hit and run. Eyewitness News reporter Madeline Wright joins us now with the exclusive interview. Shannon, Mike, the hit and run was caught on grocery store surveillance video. The manager wouldn't let me show you the video, but he showed it to me. And in the video, you can see the victim running across the street, not in a crosswalk. The car that hits him keeps going while the cars behind her stop and help. I just can't believe this happened. Where? Sandra Veris is beside herself with grief as she remembers her brother, 60-year-old David Napini from Attleboro. It was a hit and run when he was 16, and they left him on the side of the road to die. He ended up getting hurt like that at one time, and he ended up dying the same way. <sighs> I'm sorry. In an exclusive interview with Eyewitness News, Vera says her brother was a man who enjoyed cracking jokes, a loyal and devoted son to his parents. He died at the hospital Tuesday night after a hit and run on North Main Street in Attleboro. I'm sorry. If you hit something, you should stop on the side of the road, get out of your car and see what you hit. The DA's office identifies the driver as 38-year-old Neetu Kainth from Plainville. She turned herself in two hours after the hit and run. I believe that she should be punished. But what did she have a guilty conscience? And she, she knew she did wrong. The driver in the first hit and run was never caught. Varys is grateful that the driver in this case was. Kainth is now charged with leaving the scene of an accident, death resulting. Police are trying to determine why the driver left the scene. Madeline Wright, Eyewitness News.